In this video, I'm going to show an example of using NREL's end-use load profiles for the U.S. building stock as measure shapes. Specifically, I'll look at a commercial lighting program in Texas with 100 megawatt hours of annual savings. First, I'm going to go to calculator sheet C5 measure data to input the names and lifetimes of my measures. In this case, I got the lifetimes from the Texas TRM. I'm going to change this last one from office lights to commercial lights. Change the description. Commercial. This annual energy is a formula that refers to sheet C3. So once I have updated that data, then this um, will turn into 100 megawatt hours. Next, I need to get some 8760 data to input into C3. Um, I'm going, there are several ways of accessing NREL's and use load profiles, including the one I'm going to use, which is Comstock. From the end use load profiles webpage, there's a link for Comstock and also one for ResStock, which are the online viewers of the commercial and residential data, respectively. So you need to make an account to access it, but it's easy and free. So I'll look at the data viewer, choose by state for 2018. I'm interested in Texas. Once I've selected Texas, I can do explore time series. If I wanted, for example, if I only wanted offices or some other building type, I could choose filters and then choose whichever building type I'm interested in. But in this particular case, I want the whole, the whole commercial sector. And I'll choose export CSV 15 minute resolution. It sometimes takes a long time for the data to be ready and sometimes it happens quickly. The thing to know about it is that this dialogue will disappear pretty quickly. And so if the link is gone by the time you've come back to it, just do export 15 minute again and then it'll, um, it'll show back up quickly. When I open the spreadsheet that I just downloaded and I wrap text, then I can look for lighting. Here it is. Electricity, exterior lighting. I want interior lighting. Let's treat here it is, interior lighting. Um, and this is at the 15 minute timestamp. But the calculator takes an hourly timestamp. So there's a sheet in the auxiliary workbook that will do the aggregation from the 15 minute to the hourly um, data. So I'm going to select or copy this data from the from Comstock, go to the auxiliary workbook and paste it, paste special into the blue input cells. There are several different outputs that you can choose between to copy into the calculator. This first block is labeled shape plus original magnitude, which simply means that the 15 minutes have been aggregated up to an hour. This next one does shape plus specified magnitude, which is used if you want to set the sum of the annual consumption or savings. There's this extra input cell to specify the the main magnitude. And then the third block is the shape only, which so the values have been rescaled so that the annual sum is one, which means that only the shape will be considered in the calculator analysis. And then which, within each of these three blocks, there are two potential columns. There's the hourly and the shifted hourly. The, the difference is because Cambium and Redstock and Comstock files don't start on the same day of the week. 
Cambium, Cambium data starts on Sunday, and then the Redstock and Comstock and Uslope profiles start on Monday. And for the analysis to make sense, they need to start on the, the same day. So the column with the shifted outputs means that the aggregated low profile data has been moved one back, moved back one day, so that it starts on a Sunday. Um, because both Cambium and Redstock Comstock use Eastern time, there doesn't have to be a time adjustment. So in this case, I want a program with 100 megawatt hours of annual savings. I will go to calculate sheet. Because I'm using Cambium data, I want to choose the shifted um, column. So I can copy, go back to the calculator, choose, oh, I should calculate sheet here also so that the updated commercial lights measure is showing. I'll paste special to only put the values. 